crop production in California's Central Valley has traditionally involved a series of pre-plant tillage operations, including disking, subsoiling, land planting, bed formation, and dry mulching. Each of these tillage passes performs a different function and contributes to a farmer's ability to produce a crop with reduced risk of failure due to soil compaction, uncontrolled weeds, excessive plant residue from previous crops, uneven beds affecting irrigation, cultivation and harvest operations, and non-uniform stand establishment due to poor seedbed conditions. Tillage is the one situation the grower still can deal with. He can't really affect the fertilizer price, the seed price, the herbicide price, or the revenue he gets for his crop. But he does have a tremendous amount of control how he tills his fields. We have to look and remember that every pass we make in that field is critical. Next year's crop begins with this crop's harvest. And how we manage the residue, how we manage the traffic in this field, how we manage the last watering, how we manage how we grew this crop will impact the next crop. The term minimum tillage has been adopted in California as a subcategory of conservation tillage. It refers to systems that reduce tillage passes for a given crop by at least 40% relative to what was conventionally done in the year 2000. In the West, we're basically trying to keep California competitive. We have to be more efficient to keep up with other states and other countries. My name's Jim Kudo, farm cotton, alfalfa, grain crops, corn. The cost of production had gone up a lot and I've always been interested in, these, in this type of farming. So I decided that I was going to fool with minimum till. Got together with Bingham Brothers and JM Equipment, and they were willing to come out here and work with me and try to put something together. The essence of today's minimum tillage systems involves the combining of different tillage functions or tools onto a single toolbar or frame, and thereby being able to combine passes or reduce the need for multiple passes across a field. My name is Kevin McDonald, and I'm with Tillage Management Incorporated. Over the years of customer needs and, and changes, uh, we've developed the optimizer, which is a completely modular system that can adapt to most growers' needs just by the interchanging of components. We have inline disc units that's all flow controlled, in this case with a reel assembly, so all the dirt coming off the front row disc gangs is controlled and the back row places it back where it started from. The shank system, depending on seed bed requirements, deep shallow finish, and flow control and a finished tillage with the basket assemblies and a finished roller assembly just to establish a nice smooth level seed bed. So when we get to the end of the field, we'll raise the machine, make the turn. The line will tell us where we need to be. GPS is definitely a huge advantage for fuel savings and efficiency. This thing, you know, it discs, it chisels, and it land planes all in one pass. I used to have like 10 tractors to try to do the same thing that this thing does because everything's got to follow in line. When this thing finishes the field, it's ready to farm. We've cut our passes through the field from, I think it was around 14 passes at that time, down to only two tillage passes a year. We're a third of the fuel consumption with this process that we were with full tillage. And so over those years, we've saved a tremendous amount of money just in fuel, but it also cut down on labor. The one thing that I see is the most important aspect or, or attribute that a farmer can have is a good attitude. I probably wouldn't be farming right now if it hadn't been for this. Right now, I'd say if somebody was wanting to really get into conservation tillage, just stick your neck out and go for it. There are other farmers around that are serious about it. You just gotta find them. You know. What we found in the beginning was there, everybody was making their own equipment and now there's a lot of things available. There is so many good manufacturers out there making good equipment. Some fit other crops and other situations better than others. And what gets you there is a little confidence from a completely autonomous group like UC Davis that are not persuaded by any other factors other than results in economics that make you feel comfortable about the size of your first endeavor. It is the way of the future. Growers have to be more efficient. They have to find better ways to reduce cost and not sacrifice any result. It's just where farming needs to go in order for these guys to stay in business. 
Additional information about minimum tillage practices is available on the Conservation Agriculture Systems Innovation website.